can't believe it. He's taken time off to go to a garden party. Well, it's not just a garden party, George. It's a very grand occasion. You never were much of a boxing fan before. Well, in midsummer morning at this moment, it is hard not to be. Well, that's where the statue of Tom Sayers is going to stand. See what I mean? Identified with Midsummer Morton. He is the Lord of the Manor. Mm, not quite. And he lives in the Manor House. He's the current occupant. And he is very kind of him. Is it not to open up the place for the celebration? He's a sporting man with a strong sense of occasion. And you, you are boxing at times? Not really. But I did have an interest in this fight. Well, because of the local interest. Oh, yes. And your wife? Iris. She's not my wife, she's my assistant. They'll be not working this afternoon, are you? No. Iris just likes to keep an eye on them. See you again soon. Oh, I feel for that, Giles. Having her around him all the time is be like working with a stalker. Don't let her get to you. No, she can. Fur coat and no knickers. I bet she doesn't even have the fur coat. <laughs> Holding Iris Holman's hands. I wish I'd seen that. I was in pieces till that fight was over. Iris, you are married to a boxing promoter. How many contests have you seen? I've lost count. Anyway, it's different when you're watching one of your own. Libby! Tom, Joyce, Libby Morris, sculptor extraordinaire. Uh, oh, you're making the statue of Tom Sayers. I certainly am. That must be a bit hard, wasn't it? Trying to make the likeness of a man who died 150 years ago. It is, but fortunately there's some photographs of him. And you had a live fighter to pose uh, for you. John Kinsella, before he went off to the States. Gerald here thinks I'd be able to put a crush on him. Is he finished? The statue? Uh, very nearly. Why don't you drop by when you're passing? I value your opinion. Yes, you ought to. In fact, I'll be there tomorrow. She did fancy my John. And they all do. Grace is very protective about young Mr. Kinsella. She treats him like a son. In fact, he lives with her and Frank. It might have been better for everyone if they'd left him in the gutter. Which is obviously where you've left your manners. I do apologize. Can I have a chat with you? Hooray! I finally have your attention. <laughs> 